Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to today's video. After a long, long time, it's been two, two weeks, but can't help it really. The hectic schedule of MBA is taking a toll over me. But finally up with video and a very important one, in fact, because many, many people have been actually asking me after particularly the Vedanta placement drive that how is the life of a process engineer at Vedanta Resources, of life of an engineer at Vedanta Resources in general. So I'm going to give you a brief overview of how the things do happen. I will answer all of the questions, the accommodation facilities that we used to have because many people have been asking these questions that what are the accommodation facilities like, uh, uh, what is the training program all about and uh, what kind of profile do we get there, is the work profile of the work ambience good or not, what kind of work is it. So I'm going to answer all of that in today's video. So firstly let us start with uh, uh, the look locations so basically Vedanta resources have multiple locations it's not a single plant or a single unit uh, Vedanta resources is a company that deals with metal manufacturing in particular and they have a lot of uh, subsidiaries under them so uh, you know a lot of uh, uh, plants are there so I'm going to name according to the metal that is produced I'm going to name the plants so firstly uh, aluminium plant that Vedanta Resources own is uh, first of all the uh, called the VAL that is the Vedanta aluminium uh, business. Uh, so VAL business is basically predominantly in uh, Lanjigarh, Jharsugoda. These are the two locations uh, where VAL do exist. So Lanjigarh and Jharsugoda, uh, those who don't know, both are in Odisha. Apart from that, they have a unit at Balco, which is also an aluminium unit. It is at Korma, uh, Chhattisgarh. So uh, aluminium done, it is basically Odisha and Chhattisgarh, Odisha two locations, Lanjigarh and Jharsugoda, you can get either of them or you can get in Balco, Korma, Chhattisgarh. Uh, so then they have electro steel, they, were, they have acquired uh, electro steel recently, back in uh, 2018 or 19 they have acquired uh, electro steel Bokaro, uh, so it's in Bokaro, uh, so that is a steel plant that they have. Apart from this, they uh, have starlight copper, which is currently not under operation, uh, but there has been negotiations with the government. If you have kept an eye closely on what has been the activities, the government has not allowed the operation of uh, starlight copper as of now. But that is the flagship, you know, if you say the uh, plant that Vedanta started with was uh, the starlight copper plant. So it's in Tamil Nadu, uh, but currently not active. Another plant that they have is of iron, uh, where do, they do iron smelting. So basically it's Sesa Goa. Uh, it's in Goa so those who are interested in parting and all you might be thinking that that's the best place for you but industrial location again far-sighted um, you know not uh, really close to the locations of the beaches uh, in uh, the city uh, but then again Goa is go after all so you get the privileges you get to travel uh, not very far distant so Sisa Goa was one of the units which is which deals with the iron ore apart from this it has a zinc unit uh, which I used to work in Hindustan Zinc Limited uh, it's basically some stakes of Vedanta is there uh, to be precise uh, about 64% and 29% uh, is owned by uh, the government of India and rest of it is in public shares. So basically uh, Hindustan Zinc is a collaborative platform with majority stakes of Vedanta resources and a primary stake of uh, government of India as well. Uh, apart from this there is Can India which deals with uh, oil and gas so those who are the chemical engineers of the town and you want to go to uh, Can India the oil and gas. Uh, there, uh, there is um, uh, the, the, it comes under Vedanta, but Can organizes the interviews separately. So Can India has a separate set of interviews, and they go to colleges separately. So if you get in Vedanta, uh, you won't be going to Can. Uh, sorry to disappoint you for that. You would be going to the rest of the units uh, because Can hires for itself separately. Uh, so uh, those who are wondering if we can switch to CAN after entering Vedanta any of the locations, yes you can do that provided there is not a demerger which is currently under discussion that Vedanta might just uh, give up the acquisition on uh, CAN and there might be a demerger between the two and CAN might be a separate entity altogether. Uh, there are talks in the town about that but still no firm decision has been taken. So you might just switch to an internal job posting to Can India after one or two years of experience. So there is a possibility. Now out of these locations, you can get to any of the locations. What will be your role? Your role will be graduate engineer training. So first uh, six months will be a training period and then six months will be a probation period. That is a general trend across most of the units that 
was what was happened uh, what happened with me at least personally i was in hindustan zinc limited uh, we had a 55 days of extensive training program now this induction training program is not existent in the other plants and currently due to the covid norms i think the program is not that rigorous in hindustan zinc limited as well so if you are expecting that you are going to get a 55 days of induction training program you can see the video that i have posted of that induction training program at hzl many people have been questioning is this the regular schedule no 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 my friends it was just for 55 days where a training and induction was given about the company we used to have some regular classes where we were told about the company processes the plans and everything is de details the financial figures and all but uh, you do not expect that right now because of the covid scenario and all even if you are going to hindustan zinc and for the other locations mostly what i have heard they do not have an extensive induction schedule like this so 55 induction days induction schedule is not there you will be directly located to the plant with maybe 3 to 4 days or maximum one week of induction period uh, now that's good you know you go to the plant directly what kind of job you will be expected to do again depends on what kind of engineering role are you in are you a mechanical uh, guy or a civil guy or a, a process guy not necessarily if you are a chemical engineer you will get in chemical engineering as uh, only because that's not what happened with us you will be placed in multifaceted uh, uh, roles even uh, some roles that might not be going with your curriculum directly like metallurgical roles you might be given the chemical engineers and similarly metallurgical engineers may also be given roles in the chemical plant so you get a lot of exposure but a lot of challenges as well because that's not what you have learned thoroughly so you need to learn relearn and uh, upskill yourself in that aspect so uh, what will you be expected to do you will be expected to be on the ground as a shift superintendent so 8 hours of work 8 hours of production daily production of the material that you are uh, you are uh, your your unit is producing or your sub process is producing you will be responsible for delivering that you can be a control room operator or a shift superintendent so either ways you can be i was a shift superintendent at my respective plant i was in acid plant of hindustan zinc limited dariba plant dariba lead plant acid plant in particular to be very uh, precise uh, you according to your location you will be either assigned the control room or you will be made a shift superintendent or you will be made a field operator you generally start with a field operator so you have to sustain the process for 8 hours in your shift it's in shift duties a b and c now the shift depends on plant to plant the timings for our plant it was 6 to 2 a shift morning 6 to afternoon 2 a shift 2 to 10 that is uh, 2 pm to 10 pm b shift and 10 to 6 that is the night shift or the c shift so these are the shifts bifurcations uh, apart from this you know uh, people wanted to know about uh, yes job profile so job profile i've already discussed apart from this you will be given some six sigma projects this is a new trend in the industry that has been adopted by most of the players in the uh, manufacturing uh, space particularly even it is getting predominant in the service uh, space industry as well but mostly in the pharmaceutical and the automobile industry has taken a real lead in adopting six sigma as a methodology uh, and that really improves the quality that they deliver so you will be required to do six sigma projects i will be launching a separate video on what is six sigma what are six sigma projects and what is six sigma methodology i will be doing that in a separate video but as of now just just keep in mind that you will be taught six sigma thoroughly so just give your priorities to that because that's going to help you ahead as well while you are switching or you are going for any further courses or education so six sigma course is something that you should take very very seriously and implement the six sigma projects with utmost seriousness so talked about six sigma projects the daily work that you will be required to do is manufacturing sustaining the operations improving the quality preparing process documents dealing with vendors dealing with multiple stakeholders being a process guy if you are from chemical engineering or you are from metallurgical engineering you will be mostly placed in process others uh, like mechanical engineering you have specific departments of mechanical electrical instrumentation being a process guy you are supposed to sustain the process and communicate with the multiple stakeholders being a mechanical or a maintenance guy you have to uh, suffice to a maintenance of the plant basically so these are the roles uh, the accommodation is given by the company mostly in our case it was uh, given by the company in some uh, places like jarsugoda or something like that first one year or six months it's given by the company and then you will have to look for resources outside uh, for rented houses but for us it was a single room accommodation a single room with attached bathroom and a balcony uh, single person staying 
for the induction period it was a shared uh, accommodation two persons but for permanent stay in the plant when we uh, moved after the 55 days induction training to the plant itself that we were assigned to uh, we got a single accommodation room with an attached bathroom and balcony uh, apart from that there are common kitchen facilities so you can cook for yourself or you can keep cooks common cooks like uh, three four five people in the hostels coming together to cook food you might look for a single accommodation in flats as well provided they are available uh, ours was a dearth so we had to settle for hostels only and we were happy doing with hostel because 300 people staying together it's a different craze altogether so we loved it uh, apart from this uh, uh, you wanted to know about the food yes food i told you common cook you can keep if you can cook for yourself well and good many people do not feel comfortable or they are studying or something like that and they do not want to keep cooks as well so mess food is available right below the building you are staying or the hostel you are staying you will have mess and uh, apart from that the cafes outside are available we had a clubhouse where they had a dedicated restaurant within the uh, campus itself where we used to stay uh, so that is not going to be a problem the food will be managed either from the mess or from the cafes outside or from the clubs or restaurants that are attached to the campus itself uh, or you can have any external person cooking for you as well uh, the supermarkets, uh, the the uh, you know the facilities that you need for day to day lives, like the electrician or the maintenance guys are always there. The cleaners, the sweepers who will clean your room, they are all available and all kept ready. At least we got it. Whatever supermarkets or whatever things we wanted, we could get it from the supermarkets that are the that are funded by the company itself in the uh, in the compound. So you know it's a holistic environment. And since it's a remote area, you know, you do not get much of the facilities like movie binge watching or something like that. If you want to go to the theaters or you want to go to a pub or bar, maybe you don't get to do that. But there are restaurants, there are good places outside that you can hang out, chill out. At least we had some. So, you know, it will, it will do good, I, I believe. Apart from this, you will have a great peer group where you can learn, discuss things with. You will have great managers, I guess. Uh, always try to build a reputation with your manager. Uh, try to build a good relationship because relationship is ultimately what we take away when we go away from the plant. Uh, uh, salary is quite decent. It has increased recently. You can expect a 50k uh, plus salary opening. That's that's pretty good. Uh, apart from that, I was also asked that, uh, you know, uh, can we prepare for other examinations while we are doing work? Absolutely, you can. It's a shift duty and absolutely it's an eight hours restricted duty unless and until you're going for general shifts, which generally extends. Like it's from 8 a.m. in the morning uh, to maybe 6 p.m., 7 p.m. sometimes extends. So I would rather uh, tell you to prefer shift duties. So uh, just, just do that. And night shifts are good. Try to be more comfortable with night shifts because that's what you have to live with. Overall, a good holistic experience takes Six Sigma very seriously. You will get good food, good company, overall a good environment. Uh, just be serious with what you are doing and try, look, try to look out for opportunities uh, simultaneously within the company, outside the company. Just do not restrict your growth and keep on growing. I think I hopefully have cleared all the doubts. If you have still any doubts, just put it in the comment section or you can mail at engineerlearnings at the red gmail.com. I will be more than happy to entertain you guys with all your queries. Thank you very much. That's it for today. We will keep on bringing more videos like this where I will be sharing my experiences and other people will also come in to share their experiences. Thank you once again. That's it for today.